Now, the second profile that I want to discuss is the profile on if you're an Inventor user uh, and, you, and you're primarily creating digital prototypes inside of Autodesk Inventor and some of the things that you have to be concerned about when providing your customers BIM ready content directly from your digital prototype. First off, your assemblies are huge. Um, most often, if you've got something like an escalator there, that that just that model alone it's not even a complete model is over 14,000 components so you know we gotta we gotta bring that down a little bit now and the reason they're so large is is that those models are built to drive manufacturing they're not they weren't built specifically for BIM right so uh, what we want to be able to do is create BIM content um, yeah, as a matter of consequence just be able to say you know what, simplify it let me add some connection points and send it out the door now, the thing about SAT files is, of course, you know they're too large. Um, there's uh, not the appropriate level of detail. Simple files save as SAT. Yes, it gives you one one file, um, but uh, the file size, its orientation, and all those other types of things, uh, you know, it's just it's just too much detail. And really, you know, the simplification of your models, you know, you would really like to intellect uh, to save uh, and 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 protect the intellectual property. From your organization that a lot of times is hosted within those models and the bottom line here is that providing BIM ready content from your inventor digital prototype should require minimal effort from an already overburdened engineering staff so let's see how that happens